The bronze pack method has always been a thing, but sometimes silver packs are worth it as well. And since this year there are more consumables in it that quick sell for quite a lot, I am gonna bring it to the test and open 20 bronze packs, 20 silver packs, and see which one is more profitable. I'm gonna open the packs, show you what could potentially sell, list them all, quick sell the rest of the items, calculate everything, and then I will show you which one is profitable, if at all, and by how much. And let's start with the bronze packs. You might have seen bronze packs very very often and see how it works obviously we can skip everything here and we are gonna list every player just to see how much we can actually get right away in general if you do a bronze pack method you kind of want to send the players that don't sell to the club and sell them whenever they're up in price but for this test we're gonna quick sell every item that's not worth anything sometimes a kit does sell for something so we double check that managers you always want to check because some of them go up in price a lot and then we could try to sell her and we want to check every price of every player and it seems that he sells for like three 50 coins he doesn't seem to sell so we're gonna list him for 200 and i assume with him the same thing exactly the reason i didn't list the manager yet is if we have space left over we will sell her if not we sell players that actually need to sell first and then we quick sell the rest which is 227 coins out of the 750 that we spend on it that's already a part of it back this is what we're gonna do with all packs i'm not gonna all show them like i did now i'm just gonna skip through them you will see every pack quickly and let's see if we can get something crazy out of this because some players some things are up in price a lot and we get our first free coins of it as well 200 coins is actually bigger than usual usually it's 100 so we claim those write them down as well then we still have some players to check none of them seem to sell for anything even though this one this is what i mean that's why i want to check everything even though there's one here of 200 there are not many of them this one 500 sold already so i actually want to check him out i'm gonna send him to the transfer list and we're gonna check if his price is not going up or something because when as we see quick sell these 323 coins is a lot by the way and then also add those 200 free coins on top of it. That's already more than 500 coins out of the 750 that you get back in one pack without even selling the players. But that's also, by the way, one thing that I wanted to tell you guys. Today, there wasn't an SBC that requires certain players. So I wanted to record it on like a neutral day, if that makes any sense. We could always try this again. Maybe the same amount of coin spent because obviously 20 bronze packs are way cheaper than 20 silver packs. So we could also say we do both like 30k each or something like that. But we can also do it on a day where actually silver players are needed or or bronze players are needed but if we double check his price again then we still see one of 200 that also has been sold already the one of 750 hasn't been sold so what i'm gonna list him for is 600 and hopefully he sells we find another player that can sell for 350 coins we happily take that that's half of the pack pretty much another 350 coin player some stadium sell as well so also check them some of them really go for like 700 coins and by the way this week's team of the week doesn't have any bronzes so we can't pack those but but in the silver packs later, there are eight different players that have a team of the week that are originally silver players. So you can pack the team of the week in the silver packs. So that's also a very interesting thing to know when you open these packs or when you want to open certain packs. And another 250 coins. We also had a kit that might sell because here you see a lot of them for 200. But if we look at this one, they're not too many. They're just a few. So I might as well list it and see if it sells. And here we have the first one that's over a thousand coins. She sells for exactly 1,000. So that's guaranteed profits from this pack while having three more players to check and a quick sell value of 321. So we literally double the value of the pack. That's what you want to have more often. And we have a Brazilian manager. How much are you selling for? They are quite down, to be fair. They used to be sometimes 5,000 coins, but she seems to be selling for around 1,200 coins at the moment, which still doubles the value of the pack pretty much. By the way, these might actually sell for 200 since we do have the space i might as well list this one and see if it sells that could be some extra coins if we have the space anyways oh this is what you want to see in your bronze packs a french manager how much are they at the moment okay they dropped in price as well but when there's an spc or an objective or whatever with french players these usually go up and that's with almost every manager from a certain nation that's just how it works so always keep an eye out for that at the moment they're not as much we can probably sell it we can double check on the market i like to do it this way to make it a little bit quicker we can probably set it for around 3,000 coins but i will double check it on the market let's make sure we quick sell all of this double check the prices of this there we go 270 coins as you saw when i was looking for the french manager there were way too many for me to really check what the real price is so to make sure you don't set it for too cheap we're just gonna check it we set around 3,000 coins is that correct it is a little bit less than that it's also a little bit less than 2,600 
maybe 2400 slightly less there are a bunch of them listed for 2100 here i wonder what happens if we search for lower than that we can't find anything so 2100 is the cheapest this might be one person who listed because it's all at the same time otherwise it would have been 2300 so this person kind of ruined the market a little bit but just to get my coins quickly i'm gonna list it for 2000 coins then you make sure you sell it but if you're not in a rush you can lazy list this for like 2600 maybe and it will definitely sell it just sometimes take a few relists but you will sell it eventually but for the sake of the video i just listed at the exact amount and the last bronze pack doesn't look like has anything inside since we do have the space we might as well list this one as well i know these are not gonna sell like you can double check we could potentially list them since we now have the space anyways like this one i might list this one looks kind of cool we're gonna keep it at this for now let's quickly list all the managers that i wasn't sure about if we had the space for it and if i quickly Quickly look at the 20 packs we just opened from the 15,000 coins we spent we already got 6,000 coins back just from the quick sell value of the items that don't sell and the free coins inside of it so out of all these items on the transfer list we need to make 9,000 coins to make profit so let's check in an hour how that went let's move to the silver packs and while the bronze packs cost in total 15,000 coins 20 of these will cost 75,000 coins so it will take roughly the same time but the risk is way higher let's Let's open the first one of course there's a preview pack of it as well and the one we have is actually profitable but we're not gonna use that we're just gonna use these packs and let's see if there's something in here that sells this looks cool but i don't know if this sells you know what it might sell for 200 the problem is the quick sell value is 237 so it might look for you like oh wait we gotta sell this no because you can better quick sell it but more players will be up in price and this one seems to sell for it's one for 350 but we probably can get 400 for it so i'm just gonna listen for that and actually can see the quick sell value of this is already more than 1000 coins so we get almost one third of the pack back just with quick sell value but we gotta pack some bangers otherwise we still lose more than 2000 coins every pack and we actually found in the second pack a kit that sells for 1800 is the cheapest on the market right now so just to make sure we sell it we list it for 1400 we could potentially get a few hundred coins more but if it doesn't sell and someone undercuts then we might not sell it at all and we might try to sell more of them i think we're gonna just send them to the transfer list for now because the silver kits usually are from teams that are a little bit more popular so there might be more people willing to buy it and since more bronze packs and silver packs are open they are also more rare okay this is one that sells for 600 i don't know we probably need to pack some team of the weeks or something like that to really make this worth it because if we don't get a good player we actually lose quite a bit of coins on a pack and we found another one that might sell there are barely any of them on the market and the cheapest one is 850 so i'm gonna list this one for 700 and see what happens Ooh, this one seems to be super rare. I don't think it's gonna sell for much, but there's only one for 350. The next one is 2400. It is a clean one, to be fair. I'm gonna listen for 1400 and see what happens in the first hour. Another one that might sell for 600. This one kind of looks cool as well. And as you can see, whenever it looks kind of unique, it might sell for something. So possibly 700 as well. This one I'll just list for 200. Ooh, we got our first coins, and that's a minimum of 500. Then a quick sell value of almost 1000. We already listed an item and some players. Decent pack. I was expecting this one to be worth something. This could be somewhat like a hidden gem. This one looks good, actually. But again, we got 500 coins. Let's go. Oh, that might be a player that could be worth something. Oh, two of them. Because Libertadores players could be up in price because of the league SBCs. So let's check it out. He is not a crazy price, but he will be selling for around 900 coins. 850. Some of them go for like two, three, four thousand coins. If we check him. Oh, I had the hope here. It started good, but this one isn't going for much. This one could potentially sell for 400. Not bad at all. Like you can't compare price prices of badges still after like three years but this one i kind of want to check on the market because it's quite a unique and cool one so maybe that one sells i just want to say this one has to go for something this one goes for like 1800 coins that's a really cool one though yeah you can see right away when one of them is up in price you just see the difference in quality of the kit and okay, this one for 500 okay so the transfer list is full so we gotta take a few of these that probably won't sell like this and quick sell them this way we can list him for like 500 the players and the next pack and then we should have enough space for that and this is gonna be the last pack we did not get an inform but we do have five players in this 500 coins which means there are two more players at the back 
told you so it's either three players four players five players is possible as well and then it's seven players plus coins or a pack and we got it in our last pack as well that is actually sick so we only have three items to quick sell 500 coins and then we have all of these to sell as well gotta make a little bit more space on the transfer list but let's quickly do that quickly double check the badge and he might sell for 200 so i'm gonna list it for 200 list all the other items that i still need to list so far we have a quick sell value of 18,000 coins including the free coins and everything so we gotta make 57,000 coins from all the items on the transfer list so i think that's gonna be very tough since we didn't get any team of the weeks or something like that but let's switch to the bronze items and see what's sold after an hour we're back at the bronzes they all expired only 28 sold of them that's not as much as i was hoping for but to be fair we listed a lot of players that were just 200 coins so let's quickly see what we sold the players and items for so this two stick banner did sell so it's good to know that next time we open bronze packs that you gotta check the price of those besides that oh quite cheap uh, this one sold for 1400 honestly not too much okay 2000 1000 and that's about it and then we have a lot of items that didn't sell all for 200 coins it seems like like we could relist and if we relist a few times a few more will sell but for now to keep it efficient i'm gonna quick sell them all write down the quick sell value of the pages this is 143 coins for example and then we're gonna calculate it and see how much we got from it next page 170 180 192 this page is 521 coins nice and then we got three more items 22 and 70 opening these 20 packs and listing the players only took me like 20 25 minutes which cost us 15,000 coins the total quick sell value of all the items we quick sold and the items that we didn't sell on the transfer market and of course the free coins were 6,800 coins so that's almost half of the coins back just by quick selling stuff that didn't sell the total coins we got from selling the items on a transfer list after tax is a little bit more than 9200 coins this means that in total we had a profit of 1070 coins that's just for 20 minutes we didn't get anything crazy when they're two of the weeks in packs or they're like promo cards that have bronze main cards or they're sbcs that require bronze players this could obviously go up but 1000 coins without too much effort is not too bad and of course the players that don't sell you can send to the club and sell them another time but that's just for the bronzes let's go to the silvers and check if we made a profit there i'm not gonna lie the silvers look pretty promising we needed a lot of coins i think we needed like more than 50 000 coins let's check it out so obviously a lot of them were probably sold for cheap around like 300 350 do we have some high rated ones Ooh, this one was quite yeah 1400 let's go 700 400 1800 that's some good coins you know these are all quite low we need a few more bangers i don't know if we had more bangers or not oh very low that's not looking too good 700 these sold for 200 as well and that's it Ooh, let's quick sell these items because they still might be worth a little bit you know so that's 46 that is 759 then the last page 1684 that means that with the quick sell value of the items that we didn't sell and the ones that just didn't sell on the transfer list and of course the free coins is a total of almost 3600 coins of course the packs were a total of 75,000 coins so it's gonna be very hard to make that worth it and we didn't really pack any bangers but after tax the total that we got back from the sold players is almost 26,000 coins that means with 20 minutes spent on opening silver packs we lost 28,790 coins which does make sense the packs are way more expensive it's a much higher risk but i'm kind of curious to see how this would evolve when there's an sbc there where silver players are up in price a lot so in case you want to see this video again maybe with a different amount of packs or a different amount of coin spent let me know in the comments what you want to see potentially even involve gold packs but i don't think that's gonna be worth it at all but yeah let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this concept or if you just don't want to see this ever again but then you're probably not at the end of this video anyways but hopefully you enjoyed it and found it interesting bronze packs are always good silver packs we gotta wait for the right moment probably thank you for watching guys and hopefully i see you next time